Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in my previous video I started discussion on Kafka. I have discussed how you can install Kafka in your local for doing different POCs, right? And I have also covered how you can connect Kafka with Python and also I have covered how you can start multiple producers and multiple consumers and play with your Kafka cluster in local, right? If you want to know those detailed explanations, then you can go through the link given in the description box in the prerequisite section, okay? So today in this particular video, let's try to explore the Kafka logs, okay? Whatever generated, right? So in my previous video, if you recall, while doing the setup in the F drive, I have created a directory called Kafka logs, right? If I go inside that, there are two child folders. One is server logs, where all these server logs information are stored. Another one is Zookeeper where zookeeper related information are stored okay if i open that here something is there i will just clean them up so i am simply deleting as of now because just i am doing for poc but you cannot simply delete like this way all the logs if you are in production or in your working environment okay the reason is if you delete all the logs then all the information related to your cluster will also be going away okay whatever data is stored in your kafka topic all those will be going away you should not be doing that in your working server but this is just poc or learning environment so i am just deleting that so i will just start my cluster freshly so similarly like server logs i am going to delete my zookeeper logs as well okay right and now without any further delay let's start our zookeeper and let's see how it is impacting our log location how logs are generated let's try to explore in little detail okay so here in the first terminal what i will do i will start my zookeeper server okay and here you will see that the binding to port 0.0.0.0 colon to one eight one that is by default our zookeeper whenever we start in local host then it will start at 2181 port number okay i will open another terminal and then here what i will do i will start my kafka server okay i will paste that and i will hit an enter right so here it is going to take some time and here you will see that kafka server is started okay let's see in the log location what are the logs generated if i go to kafka logs here is our zookeeper folder where all the logs related to zookeeper is stored inside that this is the version 2 is another folder and inside that these are the two log files generated okay and if i go to server logs here you will see these are the files created okay perfect now what i will do i will create a topic okay so i will open a new terminal and i will paste this code all i am doing i am calling the kafka topic dot bat file because currently i am in my windows machine so i cannot run kafka topic dot sh so i am running dot bat file the topic name we are providing bootstrap server or kafka server is in localhost 9092 so that one we are providing replication factor one partition one okay what are those what is their significance in our real time environment all these things i am going to cover in my upcoming videos for the time being, let's try to understand the different concepts related to Kafka logs. Okay, so let's just create the topic. And if I just create here, you will see that created topic demo testing one. And once the topic is created, let's see what happens in the server log location. Okay, as soon as we are basically executing that topic creation command, here you will see that one new folder is created. Okay. Currently timing is 11.14 and just now at 11.13 p.m. today only this particular directory got created. Okay. What is the directory name? Demo underscore testing one then hyphen zero. And what is our topic name? Our topic name is demo underscore testing one. Okay. That means this first part in this folder is basically coming from the topic name. That is demo underscore testing one. Okay. Now from here this hyphen zero is coming. That is basically coming from the partition. Okay. So here while creating the topic, here we are mentioning that partition should be one. Okay. What is partition? It is basically nothing but like inside a particular topic, the messages are spread across multiple partition and every partition is nothing but a folder. Okay. Like here while creating the topic, we have mentioned that we want only one partition. So here you are seeing demo underscore testing one. That is our topic name. Then hyphen zero. That is basically partition ID. If we are mentioning two partition for a particular topic, here you will see two different folders are getting created. And for the first one, it will be having the name as topic name hyphen zero. 
for the second folder the name will be topic name hyphen one like that different different distinct partitions ids will be there for a particular topic and those are nothing but different different directories okay that's the simple concept how the hyphen zero is coming right i hope after this you have got it and now let's start our producer and consumer and then start publishing some message in our cluster and then let's see what happens okay before that let's see what is there inside this directory if i go inside this topic directory here you will see some files are there here if i just open this particular file here you will see nothing is there even if i open this file here also you will see nothing is there that's fine so let's do just one thing let's start our producer okay so here we are starting our producer in a new terminal all these codes i have already explained in my previous video so here we started our kafka producer and in a new comment prompt i will be starting my consumer okay so here our producer and consumer is started here i can write hello world and hit enter here you will see in the consumer side hello world came okay i can write hi there something and here you will see that hi there came like that whatever producer is producing and publishing in the topic consumer is consuming that okay now let's see due to starting our producer and consumer and publishing messages for all these activities what newly happened in our log directory okay so i will go to log location and see lot of folders got created here see consumer offset 0 consumer offset 1 like that so on up to consumer offset 49 that is 0 to 49 that is total 50 different directories got created which is having the starting name as underscore underscore consumer underscore offset and then hyphen some name okay right what are these these are nothing but kafka's internal system topic okay some system information it is storing i will be coming to these concepts in detail in later point of time as of now you can understand this easily as i have already told you that from this kind of naming pattern for the directory you can easily understand the topic name is underscore underscore consumer underscore offsets and then after that this is basically indicating the partition number so basically for this particular kafka internal topic which is having the name underscore underscore consumer underscore offsets there are how many partitions starting from zero to 49 that means there are total 50 partitions are there okay what is inside there what are their significance i'll be covering later okay as of now let's see how the messages are getting stored in the logs that is an interesting point right so before starting our producer and consumer and before publishing our message we have seen this particular directory which is basically our topic in which we are publishing the messages okay so let's see what happened inside this now okay after publishing message so here i can open this particular file it is still empty and i can open this one also here something is written interesting right so let's see what it is written it is hard to understand the complete one but at least we can understand some part so here if you see i will just open this file side by side here in this particular place first i published hello world right here you will see that in this particular log hello world came okay and this log file is basically inside our topic directory right and then next message we published hi there so here you will see somewhere hi there is written along with that some more information are there which is required for the system that's fine but at least we can understand that the messages are getting stored in this file okay that is kafka is mostly acting like a file system right so now the consumer can consume from this particular location the messages whatever is present in our topic okay obviously it will be having some log rotation period after a certain time the logs will be getting purged and the messages will no longer valid after its lifetime that's fine but at least we are getting some sense where the messages are going right and here comes the important point what i covered in my previous video i have discussed that when i am starting another consumer like let me just start another consumer and show you I will start another consumer in a new console and I will just copy the consumer code and I will paste it here and I will hit an enter. Okay. When the consumer has started, all the messages 
whatever available in the topic this consumer is also getting it is not like our first consumer consumed the messages and they are gone it is not gone our second consumer when we are starting from beginning then they are also able to get those messages what are available in topic why because those messages are stored somewhere where it is stored it is stored in this log locations right so these are important now if you delete this log location obviously next time if you turn on any consumer they cannot basically read the older messages that is pretty obvious right so overall you can understand that the kafka is acting like nothing but a file system it is just storing the messages in a file but obviously as i said every messages has lifetime after that it will be deleted to make room for new messages so obviously we will not see the very old messages in this location okay cool i hope up to this you got little essence about the kafka logs how they are getting generated so now let me just explain some points related to kafka which you should understand and some very popular diagram also i'll be covering so up to now we understood that what is kafka it is nothing but a publish subscribe based messaging system just like youtube right in youtube there are different content creators who are also called as publisher you can think like this way they are publishing their videos and basically we can subscribe the channel and we are getting notification we are basically watching those so we are consuming those content right so youtube you can think like that as nothing but a kafka like in our real time environment like that okay so here this is basically very simple image of a kafka cluster here we are having producer who are producing messages but the producer are producing messages then it is basically sending to some location right that location is basically taking the responsibility of storing all the messages right and the consumers who are consuming the messages they are taking the messages from some location right what is that location who are basically doing all this activity that is nothing but called as broker broker is basically kafka server which is running okay inside broker there are multiple topics in that topics the producer are producing messages and consumers are consuming from that topic okay so broker is very important right and if you just think our multiple producer multiple consumer scenario then you can think the image like this way here we are having multiple producer they are producing messages inside different different topics which are present inside this broker and there are different consumers who are basically consuming from different topics inside the kafka broker okay so one thing is pretty much clear from this kind of architecture that a single point of failure is basically this broker if your kafka broker or kafka server basically stops or become down then producer and consumer cannot produce messages and publish or consumer cannot consume let me just show you here our in this particular terminal our server is running i will just uh, basically stop this particular kafka broker or kafka server and then here i will go back to my terminal where i am basically running my producer here you will see that connection to node 0 could not be established broker may not be available okay our server is down okay even in consumer side you will start seeing same message connection is not available okay connection could not be established broker may not be available right so basically broker is our single point of failure now how to overcome this issue in our kafka cluster that we are going to cover in our upcoming session so this is all for my this video if you enjoyed this session then please like share and comment subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you